Sybil Wilkes with what you need to know. Today is Wednesday, May 25th, 2022. Number one, two years ago, the world watched the murder of an unarmed black man held down by a white police officer on a street corner in Minneapolis, Minnesota. After nine minutes and 29 seconds, life left George Floyd as former policeman Derek Chauvin held his knee on the neck of the unarmed 46-year-old man. In the days following, the name of George Floyd became a rallying cry, as did calls for police reform. Two years later, no federal police reform. However, President Joe Biden is set to sign an executive order to reform federal policing Wednesday. Much of Black America can't help but ask, is this too little, too late? Number two, an 18-year-old gunman opened fire Tuesday at a Central Texas Elementary School, killing at least 18 children, two teachers, and wounding others. The suspect was identified as 18-year-old high school student Salvador Ramos. Department of Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas has been briefed on the situation and the agency is actively coordinating with federal, state, and local partners. President Biden addressed the nation regarding the shooting Tuesday night. Number three, Parents hoping to get their youngest children vaccinated against COVID-19 got some encouraging news this week. Pfizer announced three small doses of its vaccine offers strong protection to youngsters under the age of five. That news comes one month after Moderna said it would ask regulators to okay its two doses for our youngest kids. Health officials and their expert panels must first decide they are safe enough and provide enough protection to authorize them. Number four. The American artist Audre Lorde, described as a black, lesbian, mother, warrior, poet, a sister outsider, and a native New Yorker. She was also a product of the New York City public school system and the City University of New York system and considered Hunter College a home. Hunter College has returned the favor to one of its most distinguished alum this month, renaming the corner of 68th Street and Lexington Avenue as Audrey Lord Way. Number five, Naya Jingles is missing. The 15-year-old disabled girl was last seen May 5th in Yorba Linda, California. She left her home on foot and is without her needed medication. Anyone with information regarding Naya's disappearance should go to blackandmissinginc.com. Here's your daily inspiration from Yogi's Jewels. A free spirit is a happy spirit. Inhale freedom, exhale confinement. Join me today live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central with comedian extraordinaire Myra J., the man of the world, Stephen Hill, and activist Quinn Townsend Riley as we discuss today's top headlines and more. Thank you to our What You Need to Know partners, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated and the American Heart Association. To subscribe to my free daily newsletter, please visit SybilWilkes.com. Be informed, be empowered.